We're up here at about 3,500 feet in elevation. And this project looks to actually add limestone or calcium carbonate to the landscape to address some soil issues that we have here that have degraded soil health. And in particular, the issue that has led to the de degradation of soil health is acid deposition, or more commonly called acid rain. When we burn the coal that is mined from the central Appalachians, we have byproducts. Some of those byproducts reach their way into the atmosphere. And when you have precipitation, those elements make their way down to the landscape and they are acidifying. So this week we have um, a helicopter contractor here and they're going to be doing a terrestrial liming project on the Monongahela National Forest. Specifically in this area, um, they're trying to lime to offset the acid deposition effects with the soil resource. Most people are very familiar with agricultural liming and this is really no different. I mean, the only difference is the size of the lime. And in this project, unlike in an agricultural aspect, we're using a little coarser lime, so sand size. And the reason that we're doing that is we want a slower release of alkalinity. We want a, just kind of a slow release of that calcium into the ecosystem. This is the first time that we've actually addressed acid deposition concerns for soil quality on the ground. And by ap applying the lime aerially, we're basically solving the problem of how do you get that lime on the ground where you're not like in an agricultural setting and you can't just use traditional equipment and you're improving soil quality. We have a contract with Columbia Helicopters. They have a Vertol, is their aircraft that has a lift capacity, capacity of about 10,000 pounds. They have two spreaders. They will fill one up with the lime sands and then they'll be spreading that one and they'll replenish the second one. So they'll fly in here and they'll be exchanging out these two different spreaders as the day goes. Some streams here in West Virginia and particularly the headwaters of the Monongahela National Forest have acidified to the point that they can no longer support aquatic life they're experiencing what we call dead streams and it's a result of this acid runoff from the soils and from straight impact of acid rain. Success for us would be really improving the soil quality and soil health in this forest. 